everybody. It's Holly Rocks. How are you doing? I'm sorry. I am slacking. I'm not putting out these videos every day. So it is not your daily dose of TikTok. It has turned into whenever I can do these videos. TikTok. <laughs> I'm fucking so busy. Uh, but hey, let's. I appreciate you guys' patience and coming back when I do get stuff posted. Hey, there's my friend Josh. Congratulations to his wedding in New Orleans. Oh, congratulations to your wedding now. Let's watch this. Oh, that I see. Absolute horror. Aww. All right, so this is all about couples. This is about couples from the worst to the best to the best to the worst. We are. I want to be a single mom with a boat load of trauma, but at least. Oh, what was that? I went too far. I can't. That was too fast. Okay, here's some friggin' foreigners trying to hit on me. Anybody that is in a military uniform that just sends me, like, one word, hey, hey, this is what you'll get. You'll get me responding with, I don't really ch check my TikTok messages. I really don't. Like, every few months, I'll be like, mm, this is not the way to get a hold of me if you want to get a hold of me. It's definitely not TikTok. And it's like... There's just so many disgusting scammers out there, guys. Like, seriously, you're not going to meet the one on TikTok. You got to be careful. And, like, anybody that believes that a celebrity, like a straight-up celebrity, is going to go out of their way. Like, look, I got Luke Combs. I got freaking... Who else? I think I got, like, Kevin Bacon... Uh, freaking Blake Shelton. Uh, just like all sorts. Look, there's Kevin Bacon. Like all sorts of celebrities. Because I'll follow their their fan account. I'm like, I love them. And then it turns out to be some sort of scammer. Thank you for liking. See, look, immediately you can start. Look at the misspellings. Look at how they phrase. Do you think that Kevin Bacon would talk like that. Together we can shun this act. I mean, come on. It's not fucking Kevin Bacon. Kevin Bacon's not really going to message you. No. I, if he was going to message me, I would hope that he would message me on a YouTube video or message me through Instagram or something like that, but not uh, through TikTok. <laughs> Uh, right. <laughs> uh, it's like, look at these people. They're always trying to be me. See, people just try. I'm like, okay, dude, cool. Okay. Who else have we got? Who else have we got? Look, these, these are all like a lot of like, say hi, say hi. No, I don't. Because if I know you, I'm going to just talk to you on my phone. Like Keanu Reeves, nice to meet you. I know where you are chatting from. I just want to say a very big spelled thank you wrong. Text me your number so we can get to... Ha! <laughs> sure, Keanu. Let me give you my phone number immediately. Hot dogs. I want a hot dog. Oh, my God. I'm just like, I guess I got really high and just decided to respond to all the scammers <laughs> and record myself doing it. This is what I did, I guess. I'm sorry, people. I'm William. Um, okay. I cover my half or... Are you sure? Oh, thank you so much. It was delicious. But I'm going to probably head up because it's late. Oh. And I have to get up early in the morning, so... 
Um, I don't know if they allow if you're not staying in the room. It'd just be easier for you. But I, I appreciate dinner. And I, I get it. I get it. Oh, I, I get it. No, I mean, I just, I don't, I don't man fuck. Pay, man pays for dinner. And, I don't uh, fuck on the first date, and I feel like you've been kind of like, you've been that? acting like it this entire yeah. time. Like, all right, you just want a free, free meal. No, no. First off, I have no problem paying for my own bill oh, okay. to avoid something like this. Then go for it. Do it. Are you serious right yeah, now? You're a fucking asshole. Like, I have no problem. Yeah, no I shit. Really should I cover my half? Just ridiculous. Should I cover my half? Like she offered. We've been swinging. I think I want to know why people like to film themselves crying and being sad on camera. You know, because she had to put, like, all the... You know, she had to go back and put all these words into the video. So it's not... <laughs> just give it time. Just give it time. Literally, just give it time and see what happens, right? Just focus on yourself. Don't go and do pointless hookups. Don't go and drink your pain away. Don't go... Stop doing and that hand thing. Away. Don't do that, right? I'm not saying not, have, not to go out and have fun with some friends, but don't go... And fill this void that you're missing with pointless things. Really work yeah, you. I have a habit of doing really that. Uh, I've done that, that in between right? certain relationships where I just, her, like, her, after one relationship, her, I was with, with this person for was, nine years. After we broke up, I just you went like it's hopeless, dick crazy. Just listen, don't feel and no coochie void, crazy. No Hit the gym. Hit the books. Well, I didn't want to do any of that. I just wanted to fuck a whole bunch of people. So thank you. Thank you for making me feel like a whore. I hate you. Whatever your name is. Alan. What are three signs that your relationship is worth fighting for? My name is Christina. I am a certified relationship coach. And if you are going through a hard chapter or a hard moment oh, in your relationship males are distracting. Dating, do I leave? Do I stay? What do I do? Do I keep putting in the work? I have no idea. Maybe this can help you figure it out. My number one that your relationship is worth fighting for is that you can be vulnerable with your partner. Yes. It is so rare that we find someone that we build a connection with that we can let our walls down, right? It's scary to yeah. let our walls down. Trust me. I Why know. is only one of her nostrils red? Looks like she just did a whole bunch of blow before this video. I kept those walls up thick. Okay, well, one really of her nostrils is like really red. To knock those walls down. But the minute that I started realizing, like, okay, I can be myself around this person. I can be vulnerable around him. He sees me, my true colors, all of the good, my the coke, bad, my the coke quirks, addiction. The weird things, and he still accepts me for my true authentic self. Let's that wall chip down a little bit. And if you feel like you can be your true self with someone, it's a rare thing to find. So if you can be vulnerable and you've let your walls down with someone, it can be worth fighting for. Secondly, you realize that relationships take more than just love and you want to put in the work that it's relationships work. and healthy relationships especially require from you yeah it's they work require you to learn healthy open and honest communication yep. they require you to yes heal from your past and let go of past mistakes and if someone pisses they you off just move on people are annoying and, you know everybody you're, that, you're with is annoying and they require you to step out of your comfort zone sometimes. Sometimes we also have to compromise. Maybe we have to find ways to meet in the middle and we don't always get our way. So they require a lot of work from us. And if you yep. still are being like, I have more. I bet you all can't stop staring at her nostril, can you? That work, that's a sign that it's worth fighting for. And lastly, if you both understand that we're all human, love and relationships are capable of lasting. And humans fail. Humans stumble and humans make mistakes along the way. No one is perfect and no relationship is perfect. So you want to lower your expectations to the reality of the situation. And if you have a partner that is willing to take accountability and work through the things that you both know aren't working, that's worth fighting for. Also, don't talk down to the person.
You know, if you've got a problem with your person. Five signs your relationship is over. I have to be honest, I hate making these videos, but I think it's really hard. But I'm going to do it anyway with my crooked eyes. Here we go. Here we go. Number one, you have nonstop arguments, but it's not just the arguing. You're arguing about the same thing yep. over and over again. There's no resolution. There's no communication. It's just one side versus the other with nothing resolved. Yep. Number two, something has caused you to put your walls up and they're not coming back down. You're not yourself. You're not vulnerable. Number three, you start finding yourself to being open to exploring relationships with others, whether it's emotional. Yep. Or you want to go get four, laid by somebody else. Crazy. Not just physical. Obviously, the physical tends to go. <coughs> the physical and emotional intimacy goes. And number five, you feel lonely in your relationship. Yeah. Everyone deserves to have a healthy, fulfilling. Oh God, yeah. When I was with Chip, Sometimes man. It's better to be single than Ugh, to feel alone. With fucking someone. miserable. Miserable. Look at Lana Del Rey. Lana Del Rey with my face. Check out the Reface app. It's really fucking cool, y'all. <laughs> You'll lose hours of your life putting your face on everything. Um, all right. Looks like I'm wrapping up this video because it starts showing my merch. Thanks, guys, for watching. This was a, a little relationship and dating video. Um, y'all go to my store. This is how I support my channel. I'm very poor. Yes, but I've got dreams, okay? So the first five comments, I always shoot a discount code to them. And we're going to close today with a question. Random question from my buckets that I have. And it's from, Jal oh, it's an appropriate question. This is from Jalicia Totten from Paris. Okay, I wonder if it's Paris, Texas or Paris, France. Have you ever been catfished? I'm going to do it in a French act. Have you ever been cut? I can't do that. Bonjour, Holly. Have you ever been catfished? Um, let me think about that. Well, I was on a dating app one time. I wouldn't consider it. I guess I, I, you would consider it a catfish because when I met him in person, he looked like the picture that he posted on the site looked like it was probably like from 15 years ago um he looked nothing you know i could see a resemblance from the picture but the picture definitely was not up to date he lied about his height look i'm almost six feet tall i straight up i'm not you know i'll date somebody i'll give somebody a chance that's shorter than me if they're honest about it don't tell me that you're you know oh i'm i'm freaking 5'11 and then I meet you and you're five eight. That you know, it's a big difference. Okay. Especially because cause then especially if I'm in heels, because then it's a really big difference. I'm like, okay. So, you know, or uh let me see. I would consider years ago I was with somebody and uh it turned out that he had a girlfriend the whole time you know he she didn't know about me i didn't know about her so he was playing both of us so that was i consider that's kind of a catfishy kind of thing to do but i personally have never catfished anybody on dating sites i'm showing you how i am flaws and all body and all i'd straight up say i'm a plus size person because i hate the term plus size but i'm a big person um i'm tall you know clumsy annoying obnoxious <laughs> and then and then if you still want to date me <laughs> uh let's go for it you know so there you go uh thank you jalicia if i'm pronouncing your name wrong i apologize i'm going to find your email and uh i am going because this was a i put a note on the card that it was an email so i'm going to find your email and Get a mailing address for you and find out if you're in Paris, Texas or Paris, France, because it's a big freaking difference. But I'll be sending you out some stuff from my store. Some stuff from my store. So check out the Holly Rock store and the Maz Posse Design store. Those two stores have some really great stuff in there. There's also, if you use code Valentine's, you get free shipping in the Holly Rock store. So see you guys in the next video. Bye.